Hey Dragon Slayers, it's been a couple of hours since my last meal. I'm at 109. So today's video is all about the importance of spiritual health. So this is continuing my series on philosophies that have guided me thus far. And to me, spiritual health is the pinnacle of what has helped me achieve all of my success in life so far. I know that religion can be a touchy subject for a lot of people, but I don't consider myself religious. I don't think that religion and being spiritual are the same thing. I am highly spiritual. To me, religion is more about customs and practices and you know you do this at a certain time and that at a certain time to me spirituality spirituality is more about relationship and so i believe that we as human beings are more than just physical beings more than just flesh and blood all right i believe that we have a spirit and that our lives in our physical bodies disintegrate eventually but our spirits live on and so it's important to feed our spirits as well as our physical bodies for optimal health. In keeping with these beliefs, I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just simply sharing my experiences. So I grew up in Baptist church um, since my youngest memories all my life. And it wasn't until I went to college that I decided to become non-denominational because I believe that there is one God and that there is one body of Christ then in my head, denominations don't really make sense. Um, my faith in God helps ground me and it keeps me headed in the right direction in life. I don't want to alienate any of my listeners. And if you don't believe in God, I think it's critical that you have a purpose that is rooted in something greater than yourself. You know that you want to slay your diabetes dragon. That is your ultimate goal. That is the entire purpose of this channel. That is the whole reason why you're probably listening to me right now. But then what? Right? Like, what is your why? What is the reason for your existence? What is your purpose? Floating through life without purpose is a surefire way to constantly be disappointed and feel empty no matter what you may accomplish in life. So if you think that you're an island all into yourself, that's a huge mistake, right? Like no one is 100% self-sufficient. We all need each other. We all need positive relationships, nurturing relationships in our lives. And we all need to get in touch with the spiritual side of ourselves in order to live a full and satisfied life. Uh, pride and arrogance are deadly in anyone's life. And the higher a person exalts themselves, the longer they will fall and the harder that fall will be when they inevitably hit the ground. Like me, if you're watching this channel, you got diabetes, prediabetes, or any other illness related to insulin resistance because you were unaware of the damage that you were doing to your body. Think about all the other things that you're also unaware of. No matter how much you study or learn or grow, you can never possibly know it all. So the core of spiritual health comes from acknowledging that you are highly fallible. So ways that I help improve my spiritual health are by praying, reading the Bible, being in nature, meditating, and spending time with like-minded, stable people. Emphasis on stable. <laughs> we all know some people that are very wild and crazy. Um, so yeah, how has your faith or perhaps your lack of faith affected your life thus far? I'd love to hear all the ways that you guys improve your spiritual health um, as well and what it means to you to be spiritual healthy, spiritually healthy. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.